Hey guys, Spartan117GW here today, and today we're looking at this really awesome helmet cover. Now, once I adopted the M-Tech helmet, that was one kind of struggle that you always get when you adopt something kind of new, is trying to find accessories and stuff that fit for it. Thankfully, now that it's 2018, there's a whole bunch of things that you can get for this helmet. One of my favorite things is the Unity Tactical uh, Mark right here, which is an M-Lock setup that goes right into the helmet. Really minimal ear pro mounting um, kind of like surface area that's being taken up, so it's not big and bulky like your typical Peltor adapters would be. Uh, but one of the big areas was helmet covers. There's a couple companies that make helmet covers, and I've tried some of the other ones before. Some of the first ones that came out, I believe, were Tac Taylor ones. They were good, serviceable, but there was a couple issues they had, like the sizing wasn't quite correct, or it just like had bunching and stuff like that with the helmet. But this right here is something that I actually been really excited to uh, run. I've been running it recently, um, you know, doing a little media exp uh, exposés on Instagram and stuff about it, but this is the Agilite Gen 4 cover. So, and what's cool is that if you have any kind of helmet, Agilite makes a lot of different stuff for you, including the bridge. But what I really like is they've basically taken a lot of their best features and of course all incorporated into the Gen 4 helmet cover. So starting off really, really simple. Along the top, first thing you'll notice is this little venting right here, which is great for bump helmets and stuff like that. I've actually got a ballistic, so it doesn't really do as much for me, but I do like the different kind of textural aesthetic with the helmet cover. You also have Velcro pretty much all over this thing right here. Here you have one basically going down the spine of the helmet and of course on the back I got a patch covering it right over the battery uh, pack there. And you also have some on the front. I never really used those but it's always good to have options. Now if you're kind of the kind of guy that likes to run full-size flags, um, just because of how companies are doing velcro on helmets nowadays it might not cover the entire flag or the flag might not be a perfect fit over it but i do recommend picking up like a micro flag or something else like this putting it there i've actually been running less and less patches now so just kind of putting with just what i need i've also got uh, a light mount that's actually for an arc rail but i put velcro on it so now it goes right there um so the Velcro for you, that may or may not be an issue. For me, it's not so much of an issue because I really don't really run as much on the helmet as I used to. Um, you have play space on the spine. So if you're running like a, uh, like a Mohawk or some other strobe or Hellstar or something like that, right? Um, this is the Uni uh, Spark actually I got right here. It's the perfect size. Lots of space here. So you can put all your basically friend or foe IFF type stuff up here and you're good to go. Um, but one of the coolest parts about this helmet cover is the integration of the battery pack. Now, companies have done battery packs before and like with the ones I had before, um, specifically on the previous MTech helmet cover, it just would never fit everything right and it was just always bulky. It just looked weird when I put stuff in it. Like, it would look great when there's nothing in it, but of course, if you're going to have a battery pack, you got to put stuff in the battery pack pouch. Um, so, as you can see, it's kind of an open-top design, so it allows for expansion. The sides have a stretchy... Uh, basically, they use that the stretch, uh, stretchy material, so you can fit a wide variety of counterweights, battery packs, um, you know, whether it's for nods or whether you're running cameras, you have a battery pack, hooked up to the camera, which is usually what I do. Um, plenty of space here. And on top of that, along the entire spine and into the battery pack, you have the shock cord right here. So you can really cinch things down so they're not jumping around, you know, and wiggling around, moving around on you. Everything stays nice and secure. Uh, and then you can kind of stow this away and then Velcro the flap down. And I do like the flap a lot. It actually has like a, a, a rubber ruggedized uh, edge around it, which is kind of a cool design feature. And then of course you have plenty of Velcro on here so you can put your call signs and stuff like that on there as well. I just put a simple breach, uh, breach and clear patch on there. Got a rep. Um, and one of my favorite things also is that both the shock cord helps with that, but also just these really simple, um, basically, uh, loops and um, kind of basically cable retention that they built into the helmet. So it's just, you know, extra fabric that's looped over. But if you're running night vision, um, your battery pack or battery cables and whatnot, and you're running the cables through here, you can run it right through here so it stays nice and close sucked into the helmet um and then but it's still stowed away in a really nice fashion and then obviously you plug it into your nods and whatnot so there's a lot of great options here you know it's it's 
elegant. I like how it looks. It has all the features that I want. Um, it's, it's really cool to see Agilite doing things. And of course, like I forgot to mention, you also have little spots here for batteries right here. So CR123s, AA's, stuff like that. So got a, quite a few options for your new helmet cover here. Um, and like I said, if you're an M-Tech guy like me, Adopting a new helmet is always a challenge, but it's really great to see companies like Agilite supporting the latest and greatest out there. Um, so if you guys are running an M-Tech, uh, I definitely suggest this. This is probably the best and most flexible helmet cover that you can get. And the helmet covers aren't always cheap. Like I believe it's uh, around 80 something bucks or so. Could be wrong. I, I'll drop it in the link in the description below so you guys have the exact link. Um, so it's a little bit of an investment, but if you want something that looks cool, which let's let's face it, you know, if you don't look cool, what's the point? Um, you gotta look cool. So it has a great aesthetic to it, but also very utilitarian at the same time. So this is the Ranger Green version. They make them in multiple colors, and I believe they might be making them in a couple more colors too, which is great. So and they also make a bunch of other accessories too. So if you're not into the whole helmet cover game, they also make a bridge and a bunch of other accessories for your bucket. So be sure to check out Agilite. Big thanks to those guys. They um, supplied the helmet cover for me to check out. And so far, I've been very impressed. You know, I haven't put too much crazy stuff on here, but I'm kind of, I mean, I'm kind of a minimalist that way. So, uh, but yeah, overall, really liking how it looks. Great on the M-Tech Ballistic. It um, really sexes this, this thing up. So make sure to check them out. Thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan117GW. I'll see you guys next time.